Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to have you guys back. Long time no see. Well, not really, it's been just a few days. <laughs> so for today's video, we're gonna be doing a Easter nail tutorial. Do you guys like my background? I think it's pretty. So I got this stuff from Dollar Tree, so don't get excited. <laughs> um, it's pretty, you know, it makes the video look beautiful. So anyway, for today's video, we're gonna be doing some Easter nails. And I'm gonna go step by step, and also we're just gonna sit down and talk. So grab a snack, cause this is gonna be probably like a 19 minute video, I think, I don't know. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm doing, I'm using my drill. And what I'm doing is I'm removing uh, the dead skin, i also removing the chine from my nail, and all the things that get to the nail bed that we don't want, we don't need, that can cause the nail to lift, we are removing that. And I'm just using a fine sanding band because I don't wanna use something that can hurt my nail. And I'm going at a very low speed, and I'm, I will say I put it into like a six or seven, and it's a very com a very comfortable speed for me. So let's talk about this. Have you guys used this before? This little tool here. So this is to remove your cuticle. I have never used it before. I just saw it that I have it. So I wanted to try to use it. And I love it, guys. So honestly, if you guys are scared that you uh, may cut your cuticles, like if you don't want to try like those uh, tweezers, or if you don't want to try those... Um, pair of scissors that come uh, for you to cut the cuticle, this will be a perfect option because it will do it for you. And you just gotta be a little bit careful because some of these things are very sharp. But this, uh, as you guys can see, I have no issue at all. This is the first time that I tried this little tool and I love it. It allows me to go around the nail bed and also all the way to the top. And I have more than one, so I also use it for my feet. and. It was amazing. I highly, highly recommend it. Um, if you don't like to work with the cuticle area, this will be perfect to remove uh, the cuticle without any damage. I really, really like it. And I think I'm gonna start using it. So I'm gonna go ahead and for this video, I'm just gonna do one hand uh, because I have other things planned for the other hand. <laughs> so I'm gonna finish with the cuticle th uh, area. And once I'm done with this, uh, I will clean it up a little bit. And I'm gonna use Swipe from Young Nails to clean this up. And I haven't tried Swipe that much, so I was surprised to see how um, when I did this, my hands, was, my, hands my um, finger area was very, very dry. And you will be able to see this through all the video until the end that I put cuticle oil. You guys will see how instantly swipe will dry your fingers. It looks like I just soak off my nails. Like you guys will see my skin, how quickly it got so dry. Um, I don't know why, but it was just weird. I guess it works as a dehydrator for your nails because it took all the shine away and even my skin was dry. So you guys know that I'm a... I will say like ambassador for Born Pretty and they send me their products every now and then. So let's go ahead and show you some new products that they have sent me. So the first thing is the base coat. I have shown you the base coat before that they have. So what I'm doing is applying a thin layer of the base coat in my nails. And I'm going to cure this for 60 seconds. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm going to use full coverage tips. And I'm gonna try their brand new product, which is pretty much a gel that it allows you to glue the nail tip. I will explain more in a second. So I'm using these almond tips, they're full coverage tips, and you guys can see that they are perfect. They have this little apex on the top, so I don't have to worry to create any apex because they're already there. This will save you time, okay? With, when you use tips like full coverage like this, it will save you time. And if you apply them really well, it can last you 21 days. So this product is called Solid Nail Tips Gel. So basically it is a gel that 
you cure under the lamp for about 60 seconds and it will glue your nail and it's not going to move. And the thing that I like about this gel comparing to other systems where you glue the nail tip with this type of gels, you guys know what I'm talking about. I have done um, a few videos already with different other brands. So comparing this one to the other brands is like usually you will see me using type of like a like a bottle, like kind of like a form of like a base coat um, to do this. So it's, it tends to be kind of like liquid, but this one, it comes in a jar like this. And as you guys can see on the video, it is very, very thick. So with, with saying that, it allows me to place the nail, to take my time. If, if I put the nail cricket, I can fix it because it, it's not runny. That's my point. So it's not runny and it's something that you don't have to hurry up and do. Like you can put um, just a little bit. I can say that a little goes a long way. I did put a little bit too much. You guys will see. But if you put just a little bit, when you press the nail tip, it will go through the nail. So you don't have to put too much. Versus when you use like the liquid uh, form of doing this, like the one that comes in a bottle, like a base coat, um, you have to be quickly because you can get bubbles or because the nail will move and it will touch the skin. So one thing I like about this gel is that it's very thick. So let's go through the product and let me explain to you why I like this one more. The reason why I like this one is number one, because it's very thick, okay? Number two, you have time to place the tip. And if you place the tip cricket, you have time to fix it. And number three, if you have, if you don't have the type of lamp that I have, and you depend on holding your lamp to so this tip can pretty much cure on your nail bed this um, gel allows you to just place a tip leave it like that and then get your lamp and put it in the finger in your lamp versus um, the other ones that you have to like make sure you're pressing on the nail while with the other hand you're holding the light because it will you will have bubbles which it can create lifting and things like that so this is one thing that I really like about the product it's that you can place your nail tip, it will stay in place while you get your lamp or while you get your nail to the lamp. So you don't have to hurry up. That's another thing that I really, really like. And they're very strong. Like I'm, I still have them on my hand. I will give you updates through Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, make sure you follow me so you don't miss the updates um, on how long they last with the, with the product and details about if they really last like other systems that have last me for like 21 days so i can definitely give you updates on instagram but so far you guys can see how i just leave it there and then cure it in the lamp so i really like that one thing i will say that i don't like is that if you put too much and you can see it from the bottom of your nails like you can see from where the gel ends like see how here I'm move, I'm removing it from the bottom. So make sure you don't put too much. Another thing I like is that is for some reason it gets to your skin. Like it like if you put too much and when you push the nail tip, it will create like a like parts of the gel coming out. You can easily after you cure, you can remove that within with the finger. It's not gonna stick to your skin. So I like those things about that product. So now that I have glue all of them, I have cured all of them. Uh, one thing I did is that after I flash cure, I put it in the lamp for 60 seconds on my big lamp just to make sure everything is cured and ready to go. Now I'm just removing that little tap that comes on the nail tip, like where the number is, and just reshaping my nails to make sure they look good. Now I go back again to my drill. And the reason why I do this in my cuticle area is because um, I don't want them to look like press on nails. So this is why you have to do this step. Now, if you don't want to do this, what you can do is before you play, you glue the nail tip, do it on the bottom of the tip. 
This will make your nails last longer if you do it on the bottom of the tip and then glue them. Um, I tried this. I tested out with my knees. I did her nails. I did one set without filing on the bottom and the other set I did file on the bottom. And the one that I filed at the bottom lasted longer. So these are gel polishes that they also sent me, but I'm pretty. And remember, guys, that if you want to buy anything, anything from the website for Bum Pretty, uh, we do have a discount code that can take some money out of the purchase. And I also get a little commission that, of course, we can use for the channel. So it's nothing that is going to cost you for using the code or anything like that. It's just a code that they provided so you can get a discount of your purchase. And their shipping is really fast, so and they really pack their products very, very well. You guys have seen uh, some whole videos that I have done. So this one is a magnetic gel polish that I'm looking forward to use. But for this video, I'm not going to use it. For this video, I'm going to use this beautiful egg shell. Look how beautiful. It's called egg, egg shell because it has some little dots, uh, black things in it. And this gel is a reflected gel, which they have a big collection of different colors. I already tried the green one on a video. So look this one, how beautiful. It looks like the ocean. So this one, I'm not going to use it for this video. I just wanted to show it to you guys. But I will definitely will be using this for um, any summer video that I will be doing. You guys know that those are my favorite nails, the summer nails. <laughs> So I will be using that for that. So, of course, for this video, I'm going to use this color first. This color, that's the number in case you're wondering. It's like a mustard color. And it also, I have the decoration I have. It has an egg just like that one. So it looks pretty cool. I like how this color looks. And I would definitely recommend going twice. So I will definitely recommend two coats so you can really, really cover your nail tip. And one thing you guys can see that I do is I'll take my time. This is speed up because I put it to speed up on when I edited the video. But um, one thing I like to do is I start on my cuticle area, make sure that I don't touch it. Just a little bit close, but not that close. And then I will go all the way up with the brush. Another trick that I love to do is I use a brush first to get the cuticle area. And then I use the brush that comes with the gel polish. So use like a different brush that, you know, those that you have to do nail art and cover the bottom part. So that makes sure you stay in place. You don't go touching your cuticle or anything like that. And then I will use the brush that came with the gel polish for the rest. So what I did is I put um, that mustard color on two of the nails. And on the other two nails, I'm going to use this cute uh, lilac color, which is very, very Easter color. And I really like. And I also did two coats on this one as well. And once I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cure in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now keep in mind, these gel polishes, like any gel polish, will leave you like a sticky surface, so you have to clean that with a lint-free wipe and alcohol. So now I'm gonna use the one, uh, the eggshell one. Look how pretty, guys. And it is funny because it, it gives that effect of the, of the crack egg, I will say. And you can use this, this is like a matte top coat, top coat right? So you can use this on any color and it will look beautiful. And yes, you guys saw me kind of like tilting the brush because I wanted to get more of the black on the nail. So you guys are going to see me doing that a little bit because, hello, sometimes you don't get a lot of black. So you have to make sure you put the brush all over again and then you get more of the particles that are black. And once I'm done, I cure for 60 seconds. And look how pretty they look. So I have these stickers here that I got a few weeks ago. I show you guys on a whole video. I think I did. Don't quote me on that. But I think I show you. So I want this tree right here. It has some 
eggs on it and I think it looks beautiful. At first I was like, is this going to fit my nail? But then I realized I just put it there and then whatever is left, I can just clean it out with a brush and a little bit of acetone, 100% acetone. And it will take care of the size that they're not going to fit on the nail tip. So actually end up looking pretty, pretty good. So I decided to put some um, little rabbits on the other nails, like if they were jumping. But the thing is, I didn't like them because it was really hard to see them because of the color, the mustard color. So I ended up removing them. And I also didn't put anything because like a top coat because it was matted. So I, if I put a top coat on top of the sticker, it's going to ruin the mat. So what I did, I removed those two that I did. And then on the, on the pinky nail, I put some, uh, it looks like two, three eggs. And they're like hanging like, like in a plant. It looks kind of weird, but I like it how it ends up looking. And I'm just going to put that there. And what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to press them, make sure they're in place. And that's how they're looking so far. So I'm going to go ahead and add my super top coat from Bomb Pretty as well. And this is going to do is, what's going to do is going to go ahead and secure my stickers. And as you guys can see how the rabbits, they don't, you cannot see them. So they're in my index finger. And the other one is on the, well, it only, I only put them on the mustard nails and I hated it. So I ended up removing them. So you guys will see that on the pictures. And then on my big finger, I put, it says happy Easter and it's a sticker as well. And I like the top coat because pretty much it's really hard to tell that it is a sticker. <laughs> and to finish this, this look, I'm going to add some cuticle oil just to hydrate these cuticles. And I will massage this thing so they can look beautiful and shiny. And that's it, guys. It's a very, very simple Easter nail video. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. I will have more videos coming up. Um, I also am working on something really cool for you guys. I will have more details on that. But I'm working on something that you guys are going to love. And I will let you guys know in a few days, probably in a week or so. So I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram so I can give you updates to see how long these nails are going to last. And don't forget to use the coupon code if you want anything from Bone Pretty so you can save some money. And I will see you guys later. Bye.